Alrighty then, come on, Frank. Wait till you see this bedroom. Do you still have the schematic you're going to show me, don't you? I know you haven't spent any time in a uh, fifth wheel bedroom, but take it from an expert. That window is incredible. And it's not just the view, it's the flow through ventilation and all the natural light. You'd, you'd think that every fifth wheel bedroom would be like this, wouldn't you? It's very nice. And I must admit, I've never seen anything like this in any of my brochures. And you likely never will. It's another Alpha exclusive. And did you see where the wardrobe is? Yeah, it's on the slide out. Most of the other brands have it on the back wall. And they're a lot smaller, too. Did Alpha put it on the slide out so they could make it bigger? Yeah, that and let me tell you, believe it or not, you get awfully tired of having to walk around the bed every time you want to grab a jacket. It's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. It's the Alpha way of doing things. And because they did this, they could do that. Or was it vice versa? Isn't this bed too long for the slide out to fully retract? Oh, you're going to like this. Hit the slide out switch. Whoa, Alpha, these guys are some real engineers. Uh, you don't know the half of it. Well, I do know I want to take that factory tour. And I think you should. The next time you happen to find yourself in Chino, California at 4.30 on a Tuesday afternoon. But until then, I got the next best thing. What's that? Well, see, the, the, the name C has come to mean the cutting edge in RV technology. And since every SIA motorhome comes with a full-featured DVD, the SIA fifth wheel is no exception. And even though this is one of the very first SIA fifth wheels in the whole darn state... You've got a DVD. I've not only got the DVD, but look what somebody left in this trailer. A full written description of everything that's on the DVD. Would you hand me my glasses, please, Frank? Thank you. And since the ladies are still in there watching television, I think I can go over some of those construction pointers with you. Let's see. Chassis design. Instead of the original patented Space, Space Master chassis, chassis that used a 12-inch mainframe, the new SIA uses the Space Master 2, a new patented monocoque design that incorporates a 21-inch light gauge rolled steel mainframe with a 17-inch steel bulkhead. This design offers a one-level bathroom-bedroom suite, allowing for taller basement storage capacity. By increasing the main rail height and moving them closer together, the Space Master 2 chassis can now offer the motorhome-like perimeter storage and component installation sites. An Alpha exclusive. Do you have a clue what you're talking about? Sounds like I do when I'm reading it. Well, I do know what they're talking about, and that's some good stuff. Here, let me have that. Nope. Uh, sorry, proprietary information, need to know basis, tell you have to kill you. Uh, anyway, besides an increase in storage... And that front trunk is incredible. Uh, just another... Uh, uh, oh, I know, just another Alpha exclusive. Don't you get tired of saying that? I haven't yet. Continue. To fully utilize this trunk space, Alpha installs the waste tanks into the bathroom floor frame leaving the trunk unobstructed. The addition of perimeter storage also allows Alpha to move items like the propane tanks and water heater out of the front trunk and into the frame, along with the AC, furnace, ducting, and cable raceways. This results in the largest exterior storage capacity of any fifth wheel in the industry today. Obviously, by having all the components under the floor, that makes the center of gravity all that much lower. And that's why you like the way it tows. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet you that is why it seems so stable on the road. Now, Linda said something about the R values. Oh, yeah. This baby is insulated. Let me, let me see. What, it, it, oh, here it is. The Sega has a vacuum-bonded aluminum-framed bath and bed floor with vacuum-bonded 2 and 3 8 inch thick walls. The flooring is three-quarter inch marine grade plywood, which is screwed and glued directly to the frame. By utilizing aerospace, design spec, epoxy bonding techniques and materials at all structural intersections, as well as integrated and overlapping bonding of the chassis, floors, sidewalls, and roof, 
The Sea can offer insulation values of R20 in both the main floor and the roof and R11 in the sidewalls. Hmm. And I'm betting that this advanced structural design also translates into a pretty hefty payload capacity. And you'd be winning that bet. It says here that it is an alpha design requirement that every trailer has a payload capacity of at least 3,000 pounds. And most have a heck of a lot more. Who says you can't take it with you? Wow, that's amazing. Strength, rigidity, payload, and incredible insulation, all in one package. Of course, you need all that insulation to counteract these huge windows. Oh, you mean these uh, solar-tinted safety glass windows that filter 87% of UV rays? Oh, what a great idea. A DVD devoted to structural design. Well, as appealing as that would be to the general public, it's not only about structural details. That's only a very small part of it. It also has a complete list of standard features, most of which are options on other trailers. That's where they get you. I want to install my own satellite dish. But to install the wiring after the trailer is built is impossible, or at least near impossible to have it look right. I don't suppose they offer an option of a pre-wired satellite dish? No, uh, not an option. Oh, that's what I thought. The SEA comes pre-wired for satellite dish and for solar panels as a standard feature. Hmm, so what else is on that disc? A oh, bunches of stuff. They've got a, a video of some low rent actors running around ooing and aahing over all the new features, pretending to be totally awed by the, the pass-through trash can door. Hey, that's a pretty nice feature. I guess it is. Well, anyway, they've also got a DVD owner's manual for people who don't like to read the old-fashioned paper kind. I can never understand people like that. <laughs> I guess you never will. Anyway, enough talk about your DVD. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, let's do that. I think the girls are through watching TV. Linda, are you girls through watching TV? Okay, okay, I'm hooked. So, what's the bottom line? Bottom line? Well, it's value. It costs a bit more than some, a bit less than others. But no other fifth wheel, regardless of price, is built as well or with more innovations than the Alpha C line of fifth wheel RVs. You can certainly pay more, but you can't buy better. If it was me, I'd get to see you. After all, I bought this one. Now you're beginning to sound like a salesman. Well, duh. <laughs> so, Tim, if you didn't have the Alpha line, would you have sold me the Winwood? in a New York minute. There's one thing I wouldn't have done. I'd have never shown you a DVD on how they're built. Not you. Wise move. <laughs>